That's the first thing. And we think that a lot of those are drilled poorly. Number two, graph choice. So what sort of graph are you going to use? And there's been, you know, back in the early 90s, we first used patella tendon. So that was the sort of first thing that was used, the lower part, the middle part of the patella tendon. It was called a BTB, bone, tendon, bone graft. Um, and that was quite popular initially. <clears throat> um, um, that went out of phase a little bit. One of the problems with using the patella tendon is that if you afterwards, if you kneel on the knee, <laughs> you've always got pain. So the part of the knee you kneel on is actually through the patella tendon. So it's always going to be painful kneeling. You're also more likely down the track probably to get patella tendon problems. So if you're a jumper's knee and so forth. And in fact, it's interesting with the BTB, the, the, the patella tendon, they also found that we think there's slightly high rates of osteoarthritis down the track with that one compared to the next generation, which was hamstring. And so they took the hamstring out of the back um, of the leg. And really that had, in a lot of countries has been pretty much the gold standard um, in producing pretty good graphs, um, strong graphs. And that one in a lot of countries has remained as a very popular uh, approach. Um, <clears throat> one of the problems, uh, sorry, and then even that was through the 90s and then early 2000s, they started to pivot a little bit. And in fact, a lot of countries now, they've gone a lot more now to quadricep tendon, the middle third of the quad, which has become a lot more popular. The reason being is because we've found that there's been starting to get higher failure rates in um, hamstrings. 